The long wait is finally over. Hamilton is here in Milwaukee, and I'm joined now by two of the stars, Elijah and Taria. Thank you both for coming here. Thank you, Thank for, you having for having us, Eden. So I want to get this straight. So, Taria, you play Angelica Schuyler. I do. Elijah, you play John Lawrence. Yes. I got to ask you guys, I mean, this is such a big deal. Everywhere you go here about Hamilton, and every time, everyone that I've spoken to who has seen this show has mm -hmm. nothing but amazing things to say about it. What is it like being a part of something that's just so powerful like Hamilton? It really is monumental, if not because it's such a popular show and such a high demand show, but it is a show like no other. You know, it's completely sung and wrapped, so that's step one. It's mm -hmm. full of minorities, that's number two. And it's about a historical figure that we don't really hear about, that we think we know about, mm -hmm. but we don't really know. Right. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people think Hamilton was president. He was yeah. not, but he was he powerful. Yeah. He did such a so young many age. things, and there's so much information in the show that oftentimes I'm like, oh, he did that too? I didn't mm -hmm. even hear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two years. You know, like he founded the New York Post. I had no idea. Right. Wow. The Coast Guard. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, so I thought this was interesting. Lynn Manuel Miranda said, This is the story of America then, told by America now. And he's mm -hmm. speaking to the diversity of the cast. What does it mean to be a part of something like this where you have all kinds of people represented? Yeah, um, I think it's extremely important, especially for, you know, people of color, because especially in the world of theater or just in general in like film and TV, like you don't see a lot of us being represented very well. Um, so for us to be able to come on the stage and tell the story of like founding fathers and people who did such amazing work for our country is not only inspiring to, uh, inspiring to um, everyone, but it's just like showing that these young kids who feel like they have no outlet, feel like they have no way to express themselves mm -hmm. or they have no place in the world, that they actually do have a place in the world. Mm -hmm. and, and as I just mentioned earlier, you play Angelica Schuyler. I do. And you know, I think when, when we think of women from that time, we expect them, we think that maybe they were submissive, quiet. Angelica is the complete opposite. Yeah. She just exudes this confidence. What has it been like playing her? Well, it's awesome. You know, even sometimes when, you, when you're playing a character for a long time and you're in a show for a long time, sometimes you don't, you the actor don't have it, but you have to go and, and go to that place for the character. So like sometimes when I'm feeling down, not as confident, not as sassy, I get to spend three hours in the shoes of this woman who is all of those things. So it's great. And, and she sings a song called Satisfied. Yes. I thought that was such a transparent song. When you got the lyrics to that song, what went through your mind? Well, the song is sung immediately after a song called Helpless. And that's a song where Alexander Hamilton meets his wife, um, who is my sister. And they sing a song about them meeting and them getting together, and there's a wedding. And then the immediate song after that is called Satisfied, where we see the same exact scene that we just saw told from my eyes. Mm -hmm. And when in fact I, it is revealed that I had a special connection with Hamilton before, but I introduced her to my, I introduced him to my sister so that he could marry her and I could go off and you know, be intellectual and, and find that thing that I wasn't getting anywhere else. I, I just, I got to see this in Milwaukee. You uh, have to. And, and yes, and you guys will be here for quite yes, some time. Yes, you have to get your tickets. We're yes. going to be here for another I mean, it'll be three hard and a half tickets, weeks. Though. But you know what? <laughs> you can enter the lottery. We have yes. a lottery yeah. that yes. you can play and Every you can day. get tickets for $10. And you guys have been traveling pretty much everywhere. Mm -hmm. What has it been like performing in front of different audiences for you two? Um, it's been a humbling and life-changing experience, mm -hmm. I would have to say. Um, I still have moments where I'm like sitting backstage, mind blown that I'm a part of this incredible production. Mm -hmm. So I'm <laughs> blown this away. Is, this is where hip hop meets And it's history. great that we get right. to, to do the show for people who might not be able to afford or have the time or the mm -hmm. resources to, to go to New York City. And mm -hmm. so we're coming right to their backyard. So mm -hmm. that's right. awesome. So, there's so no excuse. the people that we meet on tour are the people that really, really want us the mm -hmm. most. And right. you guys will be here in Milwaukee till when? November 17th. 17th of All November. Right. So there's some time. Thank you both. For Thank coming. you, Eden. Thank you for having to us.